Hello, I'm uh, Hugh from Toshak Service. I'm one of the co-owners of Toshak Service, and I'm with Dave. Dave is uh, one of our lead service technicians. He is a licensed refrigeration, gas, and oil technician. What we're going to show you today is uh, what we do on a furnace cleaning and talk a little bit about why it's important. It's important because of money. That is, you're going to save money by doing regular maintenance, and it's important because of safety. So quickly, the, the safety part of it is if you have a gas leak, that is a gas and exhaust gas leak on your furnace, that's a pretty serious issue. Uh, you can have uh, CO2 in your house, and uh, that's really, really serious issue. That's something that Dave checks for on his uh, service calls. The point about money is that you're going to save money by doing regular maintenance. It's the, a furnace. I'll use the car analogy because more people understand cars than furnaces. But if uh, your radiator is plugged up on your, on your car, it's not going to run well. It's going to overheat. It's similar on your furnace. If your air filter is plugged up, it's going to overheat the furnace eventually. And it's going to cost you more money to run that furnace. So that's, that's what I have to help you out with. And Dave can walk us through the details of what he does. Okay, hey, this is Dave. I'm just doing a furnace maintenance. Uh, I'm on a Lennox furnace. Typically we check uh, heat exchangers, uh, electrical connections, gas pressure. So first off on a typical furnace maintenance, I'm gonna pull a flame rod on it and clean that up. I check uh, condensate drains, uh, pressure switches, pressure hoses, uh, make sure everything's clear, no leaks in the system at all. Um, I'll check motor amp draws. So let's go back to condensate. If, uh, if there's a condensate leak, so when you have combustion, you strangely enough have water created at the end of it through condensation. If the condensate doesn't drain away, um, your furnace won't run properly. And if the uh, condensate leaks anywhere obviously you're going to have rust and corrosion in your furnace so that's one of the basic simple things that he checks uh, when you talk about amperage draws that's on the motors if there's if they're requiring too much electricity obviously they're not running efficiently so that's either a precursor to a breakdown or there's an issue already in the motor or it could indicate that um, the filters plugged up if it's taking too much for the blower air, for the blower motor rather, to uh, push the air through the filter, you have a problem. Uh, when I'm doing furnace maintenances, I always check the air filter. Um, uh, I'll pull this one out and check it. This one is extremely dirty. You can compare it to the new one, bleach white. So we'll slide in a new filter. There's an airflow direction on the filter, always pointing towards the furnace. A dirty air filter will cause the furnace to overheat. Uh, blower motors will draw more, more amperage, uh, use more hydro. Um, it also can wear out the heat exchanger inside, a constant heat cool. Um, and then with your air conditioning, it'll cause the coil inside, the evaporator coil, to freeze up if the air filter gets plugged. Okay. Okay. To prevent costly uh, repairs when it's negative 30 degrees out, nobody likes having a cold house. It's a good idea to get your furnace looked at um, in the summer. Um, check it all out so we can uh, address any problems before they become major issues. 